Hello, people. Welcome to back to another episode of Binding of Isaac After Plus. And once again, we are going to continue our run with Isaac until we get all our completion marks. So let's hop right on into it then. There we go. Okay, so today's seed is going to be. 7CYH7R2C And Let's just find our item room orb Let's find Okay, a little trick in this room Just let MV kill himself Just let MV kill himself on the campfires It takes a little bit But it's the best way to do it Because he'll basically instant KO himself Once he gets stuck on the one fires really well See? Real easy tactic I'm gonna try to take out a couple of these little heads. Or enough just to knock them out of the way so I don't die to them. That's gonna be empty for us. Yeah. Some people are impatient, they don't wanna wait, but you know, it's just easier. Okay, we get a champion that, that has the creep effect, but our trade's creep, so it's kinda of pointless other than giving you full hard damage. Yeah. Here's our item room, and we get pause. Pause will basically, as you would think the name is, it would pause the game. But it's essentially, except for Isaac, Isaac is not paused. The game doesn't unpause till Isaac shoots a tear, similar to Camel Undies. Um, but the enemies aren't confused; they just don't move at all. Great item. It's basically a one game if you have an orbital. Of course, you could run into something and be an idiot, probably like I am. And I just gotta be careful of not getting shot by a demon campfire. We're good now. Um, and you could just run into them and be stupid. <laughs> so, we're gonna be wanting an orbital, so. I'm not gonna use our only key on that. A couple of poppers. Let's go fight the boss. Hopefully it's Famine. It's Gemini, sadly. Gemini does not give him a little. I'm going to focus on the baby again. Now, as I said before, I'm not using pause right now because as soon as I shoot it here, it doesn't matter. Pause will stop working. our movement speed and doing this tactic with um Gemini. But we're it seems like we're just fast enough to outpace him if he does get right in our tail. For a second I thought Gemini was gonna cut down there instead of going through the top. And then we will get hit probably. I don't think I will have been able to backpedal fast enough for him not to hit us. Yeah. That's an example of him going where you're exiting. Not fun. Okay, it's just Gemini. Now we're good. I don't know what's up with Gemini Day. He's acting a little weird, honestly. Usually he'll hunt you down and won't even hesitate on those rocks. But today he's just kind of hesitating and bumping around them. That's gonna be Gemini. Can we get Pentagram? Damage up. Um, that's also a double deal item. So it was the item I was gonna be looking for anyways. So we get out of Dying Pool now, which is great. Opens up a chance for different Devil Deals. Well, it doesn't open up a chance, it just gets a good one out of the way for more good ones. Pentagrams gives us those horns on Isaac, as you can see. Um, also, today I actually reached out to a um, much larger creator to ask for a little help. Um, on uh, tips for like starting this, the channel up, and I'm hoping I get a response. Hopefully, if I don't, I won't be surprised. But it would be nice. 
So, we did not get a key from the shop. I'm just going to donate here. Get two cents in. So, unfortunately, we do not have a key going into the next floor. But, honestly, not a huge surprise there. Um, it was a risk going into the shop, knowing that we have a low-level shop. We only have a level one shop, so it's not great. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get another coin here. I am going to go back and donate this. It's a little stupid and time consuming, but I don't care. We need to get our donation machine up. So we're, we're, right now, our max donation is 25 cents. We need to get that up all the way to 999 to get all the things out of um, all our benefits of our donation machine. Then we can just use it as like a bank between runs. And the benefit of that is so that you will always have money as long as you have bombs to blow up the machine. Which is really, really useful when you're in a pinch and you're missing like a couple cents and you've got nowhere else to get. Donation sheet machine will help you a lot. Um, that's a long time away. <laughs> because usually it won't get more than like 25 cents in per run. If you get more than that, you're super lucky. If you get 25 cents in, honestly, you're lucky. Because every time you put a coin in, there's a 5% chance that it busts and stops working. So... Um, sorry, um, just something's funny happened, um, so, um, anyways, yeah, donation machine is great, because it unlocks great things, the final thing it unlocks is a stopwatch, I think 600 cents is the cap of the shop level, um, I'm not 100% sure on that though, and I believe the max shop level is either 6 or 5. And you can get a ton of stuff in there instead of like the two to three items that we're seeing right now. So right now the shop is not very good, obviously. <laughs> and honestly, we need to stop drawing money out of it unless like we're in big, big trouble. So I'm gonna try to get better at that. I've always been kind of impulsive blowing it up if I need a little bit of money. But we need to be getting it up so we can unlock better stuff. So. And we get a trap room in Curse of Darkness. This is fun. No, oh, it's Tinter Rock. Okay. I'm gonna get that now. Oh, we will got it anyways because we got a free bomb. Get a couple soul arts to protect our devil deal. So that's very nice. Now we don't have to worry about losing it upon one hit. So we're looking good this run. We're looking good so far. Good damage. Um average tier rate. Um yeah. Obviously, tears up one's hurt, but we don't really need it at this point. We'll need it later on, but not right now. We're not really getting to use pause because we need an orbital. I'm really hoping to get a famine or a um, pestilence fly on this floor. We find our item room. We've got two keys, luckily. Little Diglett just tried to shoot us. Now we have three keys. Now we have two. And this is Sagittarius. Penetrative shot, and it's just a speed up, too. So. Yeah, this will pierce enemies. As you see here, it's not going through these poops. It will not go through solid objects. Obstacles, I mean. So, what spectral, spectral tears to go, do, though, is um, they go through objects. I don't believe spectral tears on their own go through um, enemies, but spectral plus penetrating tears um, do. And that's when you're going to see a lot of damage. That's very good damage, because you're hitting them multiple times with one tier usually, as you see here. And also, you don't have to worry about obstacles at that point. So basically, every set, every tick or cheers on that enemy, it's dealing damage. So it's basically a damage up at this point. Not in theory, that is. not really damage up, but it helps with damage. So it's just really a DPS thing. This champion's starting to annoy me. There we go. This one's really easy, just they won't they can't hit you if you just keep moving like that. <laughs> oh there's Tint Rock in there. Oh trap room. And we found our boss room right against that trap room. 
I'm gonna blow it up right here, because why not? We get another tinted rock. We get ah. We get another soul heart, and we get two more bombs out of that, so we gained one bomb out of that. Uh, I want to take out these dickwoods first. Ideally, you, you, you want. I don't know why Kai throws up there. I was wanting to deal with um, these guys, because obviously they shoot creep at us. So they're not fun. I should have focused on the guy in the top right corner first, but I was worried Diglett was going to hit us if we didn't. We're safe there. Um, so that's why I kind of froze up. You can't freeze up like that. You have to make the decision instantly, and you cannot second guess yourself and Isaac, otherwise, you're going to get hit. So, Isaac is not a forgiving game. Isaac's a game that is meant to make you want not to play it. It's meant to make you suffer. So, obviously it's going to do everything in its power to screw you over. <laughs> and we don't get Pestilence or, um... We could get Roar War in Depths. I don't know if... I don't think you can get Pestilence or Famine in Depths, though. We really just want an Orbital, because we pause. If we get an Orbital to one game, it um, doesn't matter what damage we have, it's one game. I think... Pause eventually does wear off, but it takes quite a while. So, say you take it into a... Uh, if you're in greed mode, take it into a super greed fight, it's it might wear off eventually. It might wear off before you kill him, because he just has the most health out of any enemy in the game. Well, maybe it's... I think he might have more in Hush, actually, but Hush just has more armor, I believe, than he does health. Armor, I don't fully understand myself, so I'm not going to get into that. But basically, it's kind of like it scales to your damage almost ish. To an extent. I'm not going to talk too much on it, though, because I don't really know too much about it. We're, so, this is going to be Guppy's Collar. I'm going to take that, and that unlocks Death List for us. Probably because we took a certain amount of double deals. Um, Death List is um, basically. Skulls will appear up above enemies' heads, and if you kill them in the order that the skull is above the enemy's head, because once you kill the enemy, the skull hops to a different enemy, you'll get an extra reward out of the room, and it can it can actually be a stats up as well. So you could get damage, you could get luck, you could get any stat up um, at a random amount. Um, usually tears will only give you one or two. <laughs> but yeah, death list is a good thing to get, but you shouldn't go too hard trying to get it, because you can get yourself hurt. And you don't want to do that. Anyways, let's head on down next door. Oh, his his thing fell off, guys. So funny. Um, yeah, so that's a champion. This champion can super jump, so we just gotta be careful of that. Any spider enemy that can jump a lo uh, long distance can um do a super jump, and it's terrible. Super jump is terrible. I might be using pause here. Um, I don't want to get cornered by these fatty baddies. I'm using pause. I don't want to get cornered. I'm trying to focus on that one bat. Okay. So that was a dead end. Um, this is gonna be easy room with penetrative shot. So what we're gonna be looking for in our next double deal is um, Spirit of the Night, which will give us piercing shots. Okay. So I had to deal something really quick. Um, that's why. Uh, yeah. So. Hope you all are having a fantastic day, by the way. It's a blind item, I'm not gonna be taking it. I'm gonna still get these campfires. Because they could drop money, obviously. Um, blind items are no no. In my book. No 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 no. They can hurt you, because like I could get Dunce Cap and we could abs get absolutely screwed, even though we have a massive amount of HP right now. Thanks to um blue pajamas. Blue PJs. Though it's called PJs, but. Even though we have this much HP, Dunce Cap could absolutely screw us, because we don't shoot down center anymore. We shoot diagonally, which ruins your knockback. 
because it will hardly knock your enemies back anymore if you're, you, you can even get your tier to make contact with them at that point because it's just terrible to aim with. It technically gives you a 20-20 shot, but it's just so angled. It's like a 45 degree angle that's not worth it at all. I'm going to open this chest. We got plenty of key. I'm going to take it. There's nothing too risky in here right now. The only worst thing we could have gotten was Bob's brain. So this could be in Cricket's head. A tab to keep, which will sometimes cause... It, it changes the way our tiers look, but it will sometimes cause um, pennies to drop when you hit an enemy. And with piercing, you'll do it a lot. Um, it's trying to make a fool of me by not doing it, but it, I, I promise you, it drops a ton of money. I promise. I was wondering where it was. And that's gonna be the mob trap room. I'm just gonna destroy these because I don't want to accidentally not hit myself on them later. So, oh really, that's the fastest I've ever seen the statue fire off. Ever. I've never seen that the statue activate that fast upon entering a room. Come on. Let me kill you. Come on. Open your head up one more time. Maybe one more. Because these stupid statues are... Thank you. Yeah, that's the fastest I've ever seen the statue fire off. Usually you'll get like a half second delay. It didn't even give me that. It fired immediately. I'm not even sure if the door room's doors were fully closed by the time it fired, honestly. I'm guessing they were, but it was really quick. Oh, these enemies have homing shots, except for the spider, obviously, but the spider can super jump, so it's dangerous in that way. Super jumps can happen at random. Um, it's just the way they're coded. Something makes them want to jump super far and super fast. And it's weird and terrible. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, that is head of the keeper, giving us money. It works better on bosses and stuff, because you're making more contact with them. It's also tied to our luck, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was just kind of a bad situation with that shot from that, the extra shot from the champion coming at us, and we couldn't really go anywhere. Um, pink champions suck. Um, they're not the worst champion, but they suck. Worst champion, in my, in my opinion, is the one that can, that can stop the shots from hitting them by deflecting them. That is the worst enemy. That is the worst champion, in my opinion. We didn't move fast enough to get out through these ways, sadly. And so as you can see, um, since we're making a lot more... Okay, so we all know I hate Gertie. Gertie and the Gurglings. Gertie Senior does not suck, though. Another thing is we really don't have the movement speed to um, get out of Gertie's way. <laughs> so we have to be dodging preemptively. Like, as you see, I'm dodging before she actually moves, because I'm assuming she's going to move. She's dead. Bye, Gertie Jr. These items are safe to take, basically. And it's gonna be a tears up, and it's gonna drop a couple of hearts of any type. It usually drops more soul hearts than it does red hearts, though. And black hearts, too. I'm gonna take both of these, because we got plenty of soul hearts. Dark Bomb is amazing. He will pick up red hearts off the ground, and for everyone to have red hearts, he will. And we get goat heads, so we get a guaranteed devil deal on every floor now. There's no reason this is not a one run anymore. We, we, this runs in the bag. So Dark Bomb's gonna take this heart, and he's gonna produce us one soul heart or a uh, friendly spider or an enemy spider, which is a little bit of danger with um, Dark Bomb. But our net Dark Bomb is amazing. 10 out of 10, best follower in the game. That doesn't deal damage, honestly. Um, for damage, um, as I told you yesterday, um, I would have to go with, um, Lil Brimstone. Or I just like to call him Lil Brimmy. If his actual title might be Lil Brimmy, I think it's just, I think it's Lil Brimstone, though. We get Curse of the Maze, not the worst thing we could have gone. Honestly, I'm not thrilled about it, but. 
screw you. Oh, I should put that bomb between them. Screw. Shank, get out of the way. Uh, I, I, I'm just so used to blowing them up. Not because they're pointless, but I realized, oh, hey, we need to play the shells. Because we need to unlock counterfeit penny. Dark, this one might drop a heart. Actually, I don't think this heart champion. No, this is not the heart champion. Never mind. Heart champion's a little right, lighter red. So you can see here, Head of the Keeper is giving us a fantastic amount of money. It's making money out of nothing, so it's fantastic. It's giving us more money than we would have had without it. Which is what you want to see in item, is get opportunities where you didn't have them before for items that don't give you stats. That's what you want of item. You want to be able to have every leg up you can get in the game. Because every band you get is one more way the game cannot screw you. So, I'm, since we have no overhead hearts, we can go into the boss trap room. I'm gonna do it, because... Yay! Oh, Joy would get mega fatty. So, if he jump, does a quick jump, I'm gonna use pause, obviously. Get out of his way. Um, <laughs> that was not a short jump, sadly. That one was a shorter, but not the shortest. Mega Fatty, can you slow down? You you shouldn't be jumping this much. You're not the champion that jumps all the time. That champion absolutely sucks. Um, that's his worst variant, in my opinion. But this is not that variant. This is just normal Mega Fatty. Yes, bosses can be champions, too. Um, that is a thing. They suck. Some of them actually can make the boss fight easier, but there's very few that actually make the boss easier. Very, very few. Um, but they do exist. I can't really think one off the top of my head. Um, the only one I can really think of is um, Exploding Hollow. He's, Hollow will spawn um, bomb flies. If you can take him out fast enough, you can just blow Hollow up. And it'll blow up the rest of the flies too in a chain reaction. That's one example. That's the really the only example I can think of. It's not the best example though. Okay, we need dodge. Okay. Oop. See here, we're making a decent amount of money. Two cents so far on Mr. Mega. Maester Mega is a relatively easy boss. You just not, need to not be aware the fires are going to land. And you're fine. There we go. He's dead. Okay. That'll be this room. Hit. Okay. So, I just got back from dealing with another thing. Sadly. I hate doing those. I just hate having to pause in the middle of the video and forget where I left off, honestly, it sucks. But, when you still live with your, live with your parents and you're a teenager, there's not much you can really do about it. So, I apologize for leaving and resuming the video, um, all the time. I know, it's annoying. gotta be careful over here because they could blow up these mushrooms. That would not be a fun time for us because those could create more explosions that hurt us. Poison explosions. Out here. I'm not gonna do that sacrifice room. I mean curse room, not sacrifice room. Jeez. I get those two mixed up name-wise a lot. This is a greed enemy, so when they hit us, they'll steal some of the money and drop it back on the ground, and it will take some of the money away for two. Won't drop all the money that it takes away. Okay. This is a dead end too. Joe, boy, oh boy, I'm so glad I went over here. Oh yeah, we have cursed the maze too, so we get shuffled around. We're on caves or catacombs too. This one's catacombs too. Um, it's a variant to caves. So. Found our boss room before. Really? It's on the other complete other side of the map? Wow. Okay. I'm not gonna get that skill chest. We get the wretched. I saw a W, I'm just like, war? But no, I just realized we probably can't get war caves if I remember correctly. I'm probably gonna be using claws in this fight because I I'm terrible at dodging these jumps as easy as they seem to dodge. I'm not the 
I wasn't able to click pause in time. An orbital pause would just... There's not much we can do there if we got cornered against that wall. Thankfully, you can go under them. You can go under any hop enemy. I'm just going to take this because I can. I believe this creates more of the special tarot cards than want the red backs. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want to get rid of paws. I'm going to take Guppy's head. We're going to get our HP back with um, Dark Bomb. Just for in our part of the Guppy transformation. As you saw yesterday, Guppy's very good. So Guppy's very good with any piercing spectral tier because Brinso is technically piercing and spectral. I'm going to go back to our item room. And if we decide in like a minute or two that we want Guppy's head, we can go back in because we have Goat Head. We, we're guaranteed we're able to get back in. So now we're looking at a little less good on HP, but we're going to get it back because of Dark Bomb. I'm not going to play this Demon Dud Judgment now though. Wow, we just got shoved for like three rooms. So now when we go back, we could try to proc curse the maze again to try to get us back through, but chances are that doing that again is low. Early shuffling shuffling us in the right direction is low. It might have shuffled us right past our item room and our shoppy even too. But in, in map generation like this, I believe they usually spawn adjacent to each other in a dead end room. A little room that would be dead end if they weren't there. Control bomb, ha ha ha. Like that's gonna have to hit me unless there's a rick. Okay, we got shoveled. Not a great room to be in, not a great room to be in, not a great room to be in. Take out the spider. I took a second to think about what I was gonna do. The spider's the biggest problem here. Not the host hats, actually. Host hats are annoying, yes, but they're way more dangerous when you can't dodge because of them because of the spiders and then you get hit by them instead of getting hit by spiders you're going to take a hit if you don't get rid of one of them and spiders were just easier to take out so that's why i took them out first so we're going back go back over here now i haven't taken a hit and pretty easy room we can just hang back and not well we're going to have to activate it by going past it but yeah that's about it we play move speed to get past that without getting hurt we could technically get that if we blew up that mushroom, like, right here on our other side to get that key. I'm not... Eh, meh, nah, sure. We got flame bombs. You can also blow up poop piles in the same way to do that. And I was correct. They are JC Char in a room that would have been dead end if without them. Hello, bonies. Oh, by the way, if you get three orbitals, um, like, let's just say, for example, Halo Flies... Um, or three pretty flies. Um, bonies can't hit you. Their bones cannot fit through. Hopefully this gives us a heart. And you spawn an enemy spider. Thanks, Dark Bum. You, you're, that was so useful when we need HP. Um, all thanks to Sir Dark Bum's a big time player. He will um, make the big time plays for you when you're hurting and need HP. Mom's key is going to be pretty good. I'm going to take Mom's key. Unlocks the coupon for us. Gonna roll for more items, obviously. Got plenty of money. No, nothing out there. I'm not gonna... I don't... Oh, we got shuffled. Whatever. I didn't mean to exit the room, I swear. I'm not gonna take... The jar. Um, because that, that allows you to store up to 20 HP. I believe... 20 or 10. I think it's actually 10. Um... Excuse me? Compost. Compost could be good. I'm going to take it. Compost can make your game. You just have to be really, really on top of it. It's more powerful with 9 volt and car battery. Car, ba car battery, most of all. Car battery turns um, compost into an absolute monster. The item right there, I think it's just called slots. Um, we get the nightlight. Um, it will turn all doors that need keys into doors that need coins to open them. It'll take one coin. Kind of like the arcade. 
it'll basically make every locked door arcade, except for if it's a double locked, I believe. Eh. Might as well take this tarot card, see what it is. Two spades, double star keys. Uh, pause isn't really doing it for us. Hopefully we don't get an orbital next floor, that would really suck. So now we're going to be looking for a room that has stuff on the floor. Compost turns things on the floor into spiders and flies, so we're going to look for the room that has the most stuff in it and then use compost. No reason not to use it now, I guess. Oh, wait, we don't have no room to clear. Crap. Um, we're going to be hitting our cursor. Oh, whoa, that shot almost hit us. Nightlight will also... It gets rid of cursed darkness on the floor that it's acquired. Get solar out of that chest, that's surprising. Um, but also, it will slow down enemies when it's pointed at them. It's controlled by your movement keys. So, oh wait, there's full charge. What am I talking about? We're not just gonna go into the curse room. We're just gonna go into this room. So the problem with compost is you have to keep your flies and your spiders up. As you can see, it doubled the amount of spiders. That's what it also doubles the amount of them in the room. As well as turns the consumables. You need a good amount of consumables to get compost going, though. That's the hardest thing is to get compost up and running. And then you just have to stay on top of it. Because if you like forget to use compost for a couple rooms, you're probably gonna lose most of your spiders and flies and be back to square one compost. So Yeah. That's the deal with compost. If I had a backpack, I would take um Guppy's head as well, because Guppy's head with compost is pretty good for, you know, getting flies to get it started. I wish I hadn't procked it right away. If I know that I was going to get compost, I wouldn't have. It was saved until I compost and I would have used compost. Okay, so this floor we have 100% deal with our devil. Again, because of, um, goat head. A lot of consumables in here. A lot, a lot, a lot. I think I'm probably going to have to bite. And, and um, use, um, compost in here. We're going to get two charges, obviously. I'm going to check out this card is two clubs. I'm going to take that. I guess I'll take the bombs. Then. Oh, by the way, piercing shots turn the knights into a joke. Because you can just shoot right through him. It doesn't matter which way you hit him from. Hmm. Nightlight just saved us from taking a hit there. We lost all our spies and flying streams, so that's why I'm being basically forced to use compost at this point. It's worth it. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> Maybe not, but I'm still doing it. Mine. Those two arcs slots are there to hit you if you are just a little bit off center, just to be like, ha ha ha. Um, it's just mean. That's Isaac for you. Do not take him out. Okay. You see, we're struggling to co get compost going. <sighs> okay. No, don't go after him. Don't. No. Bad. Bad fly. You just. I don't like you, fly. You were bad. Bad fly. You need to stay alive so I can duplicate you. No, you had to kill yourself. <laughs> you served me well, but you were supposed to stay alive. We have to take bombs. We need a couple more bombs. I would have loved to have composted that, but no. So I'm just going to pop compost. Grab the penny. Compost with the jar with um, humbling bundle is amazing. You can get infinite... Well, you can't get infinite because there's a cap to how many spiders and flies you can have. Um, it's a really high cap, but there is a cap. Um, it's a cr crazy amount, though. So it's not easy to hit. Shoot. Let's see what's in this rock. Oh, it takes so hard, obviously. Get two two gloves. <laughs> That's gonna be good. We don't need bombs anymore. Not right now. I'm gonna take the key, but other than that. Shoot. So we lost almost all of them in again. 
We always have to DPS to get rid of them before our, our um, flyer supplies take them out, sadly. So if we get, like, brimstone, we're going to be good. But... Yeah. So it's a little troublesome. But we can get there. We can get there. I'm not going to use compost in here. I'm going to save charge on compost. There's no reason to be using it right now. We don't... We can't get it up and running. There's almost no reason not to use compost when you have the damage, though. Oh, <laughs> forget looking for our item room. We are not going to go in our item room because going in our item room would be a joke. Because it's blind items and yeah. We're still going to try to take our devil deal though. We have the HP for it right now, but I don't know if we will in a little bit. I'm going to go back and buy a premium item. Also, for full charges can be very useful for getting compost stored. <laughs> wow. So we're, since we're not taking nine on this room, that's kind of pointless. They'll only give us, if we assume we don't get cursed to blind it on the next floor too. Um, one, um, iron room use, sadly. So we could be missing a terrible item, which would be good, or we could be missing some like polyphemus, which is one of the largest damages up in the game next to Ipecac, I believe. So, shoot, I really don't want him to take him out. And we're going to lose everything in here again, sadly. Yep, there it goes. Yep. That's a shame. We get a sack, though, so we could still get it. We still could get a decent amount of stuff out here. <laughs> Not worth it. Those are going to be our prime target, obviously. Compost. Oh, darn it, we lost it already. Bam. Bam. We can actually hit Diglets like, for a half second after they dig under the ground, so that's cool. So you can kill them when, even when you can't see them. I want to take these guys out fast before they crowd around us and start shooting at us like that. We don't, if he had shot in that direction, we would have been stuck and wouldn't be able to get out of there. Yikes. What's this? Judgment could get a bunch of stuff on the ground. Or it could be a... No. Oops. Judgment. Okay, this could... Except for we don't really have the money to use them. Sorry. Ugh. Monster 2. Um, easy fight. I, I saw from his hesitation that he was going to jump right away. Sadly. He'll hesitate for a little when he does jump. I'm just going to take it there. Because I feel like we weren't going to really be able to dodge it with those flies coming at us. You really want to keep Monster 2 from jumping like this. You just want to keep him firing the Brimstone Laser. Because that's easy damage. So he's going to fire off again. If he jumps once, you know he's guaranteed to um, fire off that brimstone laser. 99% of the time. That's what you want to see. Oh, shoot. He's gonna, he might do it. Nope. Okay, we kept him still. We're going to get an amazing use of compost in here. Jeez, we got a ton of hit on the boss. We'll come coins from the boss. And I'm going to use compost. I'm not taking all those coins. Get an HP up for a double deal. So we can avoid taking damage here. There's a two heart double deal I am. We get a little brimstone. Not a bad get. Not a bad get. That could have been brimstone. Um, so that's why I went for it. I am going to go play um, the beggar, though. 
Because you can drop an item at this point where you're not going to get um, a ton of consumables on. Dark Bomb, take it away. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for Dark Bomb. Yeah, we're going to head on down the next floor since it's blind item. Uh, I'm not taking that RW deal item because just because I want the HP right now. Um, and we're going to get more than our double deal. Guaranteed. Two, three more double deals guaranteed, actually. Obviously, we've missed bo lo boss rush by a long shot. That's fine, though. Wasn't really going for it. Okay. Nah, nice well. Get ourselves homing shots for this room. The more range you have, the better homing shots usually are. Let's see, we're getting a few extra hits in on him. Killed him with his own, um... Hey, Monster 2, we just killed you on the other room. Um, can you die again? Yes, go over me. You can give him fire off at least once guaranteed, so. Might be any problem when he lands. We're just training shots right now, so that's fine. Oh, he jumped. That was pretty, going pretty good. Monster 2 again. Yes, you can compost chests if you have not left the room and they've despawned. Even if they're open. No, this will kill everything. This will kill everything. We cannot let them go after these knights. That will have killed all of them. Because it's not going to kill them, even if it kills I really want to not lose everything compost is getting. We have a Okay, start with combos. We need to keep it up. We need to be getting a net benefits from compost. We cannot be losing a ton of them. We lost all our flies already, but spiders are really what you want to go for. Oh no, we're going to lose everything here. No! No, it's five. No! Applied you off to kill yourselves. I needed you. No. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, it's pen times four. Hello? Is there four pit? Three, four, one. There goes one. There goes two. Three. I guess there's just three. Oh, that's scary. Pin the world breaker though. <laughs> Can still steal show means excellent. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, just look up some Victus Steel Chair pin. <laughs> pin with a steel chair. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm not gonna go in there. I'm hoping we can find on my teleportation card. Actually, no, we don't. We're not doing boss rush. Never mind. Uh, well, never mind. Anyways, we got cursed the blind again, which absolutely sucks. But can't do much about it unless we got black candle, which I'm not gonna be hunting. We don't have money to hunt for that in the shop. You can see we're tearing up mom pretty well. This has to be listening for mom to go rah or rah. Um, and then she'll stomp. Also, you don't want to get too close to these eyes because they will shoot an arm out at you and hit you if you're too close to them. I'll try to show you, but I don't want to get hit. Let's get decent. Like, uh, 
trying to get the proc. He just doesn't want to, apparently. Never mind. Plug flat. We're eventually going to lose Ganyan Nightmare up here once we progress the game more. Krampus. Joy. So we're not going to get Devil Deal Lamb. We'll tank we get Devil Deal Lamb, but it's going to be ahead of Krampus, um, which honestly at this point I'm going to take. We can't, we're not able to get, um, we're not being able to get compost up and running, so, which is sad, but it's the reality of things. You just got to be careful Krampus. There's no differentiation between when you shoot diagonal and when you shoot, um, straight, which sucks. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm very, that's it, that he's going to spin. Yeah, I thought you'd spin that way. Yeah, he's gonna spin his shot again. Joy! I am just doing so good today dodging. Head Krampus. So this tells me this is gonna be Head Krampus. Oh no, it's just Lump Cold. Never mind. <laughs> Lump Cold's gonna be great. Upgrade. I'm just gonna use Compost because it's a little old. And we go to the next floor without Krampus' head, which is not really what I wanted, honestly, but Lump Cold's better than Head Krampus usually. Uh, but in this case, I did want to have a Krampus instead of that. Really wish we had a teleportation card right now to get into, like, just like an Emperor card, actually. That's all I really want. Not just a teleportation card. We gotta be careful in here. Hands. This room's gonna absolutely suck. There's two hands. Maybe three hands. Yep, there are three. You just have to be aware of which way that statue's gonna be shooting at any given moment. It alternates between each way. Diagonal and cross just up and down left and right and we get callus not really sure where that um deformed deformed um and me came from callus would actually i probably would have taken callus if i was thinking straight um callus will just walk over spikes without taking damage so basically traps aren't very effective anymore, except for hole traps. Like void traps, um, they're like holes in the ground and they pull you towards them. Okay. Oh, wow! That spawned Loki like dead on top of us. We're lucky he didn't, his hitbox didn't come in for a couple seconds. That definitely would have hit us. I'm trying to stay distance from him because the further you are from an enemy with Lump Cold, the more damage you're going to deal. Because the way Lump Cold works in this version of Isaac is the longer the tier is in the air, the more damage it will deal. So yeah, it doesn't really work anymore on how far it is from, how far you are from them. Unless you have, um, tech acts and code or brimstone, then it works that way. Nope, 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 don't cross yourself, don't cross over, don't cross over like I just did. Okay, that got taken out. I think it's just because that roller ran right over him. I, I don't think I actually shot him. So, still gonna be looking for our um, boss room. This is the Void Traps I meant. You just gotta be a little careful in here to avoid those spikes and to not get pulled into those Void Traps. The Void Traps do deal damage to you, just like anything else. And we are in Womb, so we take full heart damage for any hit we take. It does prove a theory that I, that I wasn't sure of. They'll only not open if, you're sh taking, if they're taking damage, I guess. I thought it was if you're shooting at all. Apparently I was wrong. Okay, we found our boss room with relative ah, accuracy. We were going to take a hit there. We got farmed by the brimstone spiders. Um, I was about to say, why aren't they taking damage? I must have missed something. Okay, we get Loki too. Basically, it's Loki that's supposed to be harder, but it's not. It's not any harder at all. It's easy still. 
Loki's not a hard boss, and Loki 2 is not a hard boss either. Matriarch, on the other hand, sucks. If you get Matriarch, I'm prepared to lose HP because there's almost no way you're not going to get hit in the Matriarch fight. Almost no way. Matriarch fight is the worst boss fight in the game, in my opinion. That is not like meant to be like a like final boss. Because it plays kind of like a final boss, honestly. It's not really fair, in my opinion. It's not a well-designed fight. Um, we're going to be getting Guppy here. Um, can't tell me otherwise. And we also now have nine lives. I'm also going to be taking um, Guppy's hairball, because why not? You know, that little thing. It basically we swing around and we can hit enemies with it. Not playing Demon Judgment, so I'm just going to eat it. Yeah, see if Cap is not what I want. I just was looking for an Arch HP for Dark Bomb. Head on down. We're on 2 HP, doesn't matter, we have 9 lives. We're not gonna lose. Okay, and I believe this time it's actually not gonna be Mom's Heart, it's gonna be It Lives. So we're in for a bit of a different boss fight, I believe. As you can see with Guppy, Compost is gonna be popping off now. Ooh, that could be Ancient Recall. That is Ancient Recall. Also could have been... Oh wait, we haven't unlocked Chaos card yet. Too far, it's kind of pointless. We don't have any hearts. Um, double locked room could be a chest door. Could be a library though. Could be a dice room though. Cannot be a library. Eh. Dark one, I'll let dark one do his work. That's not why I want dark one. That's more what I wanted. Dark one, there's a little more. Come on, eat it. Eat the red heart. Nip out. We're gonna be coming back into that room with um. I want to get the max benefit out of this room, so I'm just gonna... Be doing this. I could've done this a little more effectively if I had stopped, if I had dropped the, um... Ace of Spades outside. Before I did that. Unfortunately, we lost all them, but with Guppy, we're going to gain them back, most likely. So, let's get started. Compost, go. Charging up Lobrimi. Trap room doesn't matter, because Guppy gives us flying. It's going to be coming back in here with Compost. Trying to keep the flies from getting too close. Oh, we still need a little more of a charge for compo. Oh, Mega Patrol Room, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, we got out of the way. I was really hoping for a trap room or something, somewhere where we can't lose flies and stuff. This is where we're gonna start getting compost really going. Guppy is gonna make compost a yes for us. So glad we went with compost right now because we got guppy. We're not gonna have it for very long, sadly, but I'm glad we went with it. Not gonna go in here. We're gonna lose all our flies in there. We're gonna lose everything. Uh, we have more range than him. That's a doppelganger. Basically, they shoot when you shoot, except for in special cases. Like, I believe it doesn't shoot if you have Dr. Fetus. But most cases, it will shoot at you. Now you see this is where Compost is starting to get a little get out of control. We still have to stay on top of it, but... Dark Bomb, do your work. There you go. <laughs> Sacrifice room. I'm not going to do that today. We don't have to take HP for it. I want to take out these poops before um, we lose a bunch of flies in here. There's no reason we should lose them. I don't see it doesn't really matter right now, but I want to take them out as many as possible so we're losing less flies. Golden poop. We're going to come back in here. Yep. Try not to collect anything. Ah, it's whatever. Found a boss room. More! <laughs> Could have gotten a little more if we broke these and they dropped stuff. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten any more if we broke them. Anyways, let's get on with it. Oh, it is still Mom's Heart. Okay, never mind. Our flies and spiders are just going to basically instantly destroy her. Yeah. 
that's gonna be. We have show. We're going to show. Okay, so we're going down to go down to show. So we're not ending our run quite yet. If Cac is pure in the basement, we got that from beating up mom's heart. Provides interesting up to I want a little more HP, so I'm gonna play this. I guess it's HP in that way, and I'm hoping it drops a red heart HP item. There we go. Could have rolled it because we have the reroll machine, but I'm not gonna. Fortunately, we lost a lot of our spiders and flies in the mob start fight. Pretty sure we lost all of our spiders, yeah. Most of our flies, too. That's the price we play, though, for fighting a big boss. Without having this today ability for compost. Oh, okay. Apparently, a spider managed to survive our ball leaks. Really want to find this boss really quick. Looks like we're going every single wrong way. That's fine. And the boss will be sated, so. Okay, so we got compost up and running again. I'm not gonna do that. I'm on a bit of a time constraint, so. So, yeah. God, this is terrible. Spikes, flies are gonna be absolutely destroying everything right now. Oh, we gotta be careful. We have to go fast in here. Not let that rotate around to us. They rotate around to us. It's... Exploder. Now we have to wait for this one to be de exploded. There we go. Oh, hi, fam. I was looking for you earlier when I needed um, something. But I don't need you now. Floor, but I have to go all day. Come on. We lost a lot in this room, but I, we have to take out Satan, but... Okay. One one thousand, two one thousands, three one thousands, drop. I, I did that to take out the bomb flies um, that spawn with um, Fallen before the Satan actually fights us. We got to lose all our, most of our, almost all of our buttons, players and flies before the actual same fight starts, sadly. We just have to be a little bit careful this fight. Fire for Brimstone, please. Nah. If we can finish this phase of fight with not, without taking much damage, we're good. Yeah, we're good. The biggest thing in here is not getting hit with bomb flies. You don't want to double back either, that's how you're going to get yourself hit. We gotta be really careful. If we get down to the HP, we might not be able to fight Geek Satan. Which would be sad, but it's a reality. Stays run. So, if you like my content, um, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, um, comment, or even a dislike. Um, not what you guys likes is just nice for me as well as it helps me too. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>